Welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 97. Inside this video, we will continue our Ajax request class and inside this video, we will discuss all about data save method. In the last video, we had seen the concept of Ajax request and in that video, we had validated our form. Simply, we have implemented our Ajax request form validation. So if I back to our editor, go inside app, HTTP controllers. So these are the two controllers called Ajax controller and home controller we had created inside last video. So if we click on this Ajax controller, here we have used validator class and by the help of that, we have validated our form. So if we go inside our resources folder, views folder, and this is the layout called myform.blade.php. So this is the HTML what we had done inside last video. So this is all about our click event listener and inside that we are sending all the inputs like first name, last name and the email address and one more thing inside this form we have CSRF token. So total 4 input values. As we can see here, we are sending via Jax request type to this route. So when we go inside web.php, which is inside routes folder, and here inside this web.php, the first route is all about get request type. By the help of that, actually, we are entering our form. And by the help of this post request type, we are just sending our data from client side to this Ajax controller. From where we are validating our form. Now inside this video, we will save our data to database table. It means that when we fill all the data inside our, all the input values, then in that situation, we will have no error. So if we have no error, then we will save our form to database table. So first of all, if I copy this route, here as we can see, start a development server, back to browser, and if I type localhost my form, and here as you can see that we have a first name, last name, and email address. Now what we want, when we click on the submit button, as we can see that we have client side validation, it means this is messages coming from server side via a checks request type. So what we want, when we fill the value inside this first name, last name and the email address after pressing submit button we will save all these values to our table and this all we will do by the help of ajax request so if i back to editor first of all we need to connect this application to database go to env file and here as you can see that successfully we have connected with the database now if you go here right now inside this database we don't have any table so first of all, we need to create a migration back to terminal and here we will use php artisan command. So let's say php artisan make let's say migration and we need to pass the migration name. So simply let's say create what we'll do persons table so we will create a persons table inside our database so the migration file name is something create persons table so if we click on if we press enter as we can see that migration created as we can see that migration created so back to editor go inside our database folder migrations and inside this migrations folder here we have the file and as we can see here this is our class name called create persons table and by the help of this migration file we are going to create persons table into database so first of all we need some input fields so let's say table we will put data type as varchar so a string we want something first name let's say it is of 120 characters next we will have the data type again which is going to accept the string value for the last name it is of 120 characters and finally we want again one more field of varchar that will store the
the email address so here it should be email and again let's say this is 80 characters and we don't want this timestamps value inside our table means we don't want any created at and updated at column inside this table so simply we need to remove that so now inside this table we will have the columns as id which is auto increment and primary key next we have the columns let's say first name last name and email address now we need to migrate back to terminal php artisan and simply type migrate so by default these all migrations available inside laravel something create users create password resets create field jobs and here is the migration what we have created so if i back to db click on structure now inside this database ajax underscore validation here are the tables what we have migrated so go inside persons table and inside this table as we can see that we have four different columns so to insert any new row inside this persons table we want three values first name last name and email address so by the help of this form we are getting all those values now next we need to create a model that model will interact with this table so what i will do back to terminal let's say php artisan make model and from the naming convention as we can see this is plural which is the table name and the model name should be singular so it will be something person so if i press enter model created successfully back to editor reload this folder structure models will be stored inside app models and here we have person.php which is pointing towards person's table now as we can see that inside this table we have removed our timestamps value so we need to tell this model that we are not using timestamp values so for that we need to actually write a public variable means public member variable something public timestamps equals to false by the help of this member variable we are telling this person model that we are not using any timestamp values inside our person's table now if you go inside http controllers open all about ajax controller because when we submit this form it is going to hit this ajax controller and process ajax method so simply first of all let's load our model so use person save all these changes go inside this process ajax method inside this if all the validation successfully passes now we are inside this if block what i will do simply will create an instance so let's say person equals to new person and finally let's say person in our table we have the first name as the column next column we will have person let's say last name and the final column we have let's say person email and the next we will call the save method so let's say person and we will use save method now finally we need to read all the values like first name last name and email address from this request instance and assign all these values inside here so what i will do as we know that inside laravel if we want to read all the requested values all the requested parameters we need to use request all method but when we want to access only a single specific value let's say first name from the request so what i will do simply request instance and here we have the name property so if i copy this is let's say last name this should be first name again if we go inside resources folder views folder open up myform.blade.php now if we see the input values like first name last name and email now next we need to specify so here let's request and email so finally 
we are just creating an instance of this person model assigning all these values and here inside this we are using save method after saving value we are returning let's say added new records so if we save all these changes back to browser go and reload this page and right now inside this table we don't have any row so let's create a dummy user so here we have few details like first name last name and email address so if we click on inspect go inside network this is the section where we debug our request types so click on submit here we have some error that is like table people does not exist it means the table we want for our person's model means person model is something people so this is the name which is different so what we have to do we need to tell our model that for this person model we need to use the table as people so let's say public table and we need to use persons because by default Laravel model is asking for this table but this table does not exist we have persons table so by using this member variable called table we have access specified our custom table name so if we save all these changes go and reload this page let's pass dummy values click on submit and as we can see that added new records so go here click on browse and as we can see inside this table we have the first row entry so this is guys a step by step guys step by step guide to save data from a form via JAX request to database table and one most important thing I want to discuss inside this video as you can see that inside this view file we have only a single Ajax request inside this Ajax request we are specifying the token value this token value is very important when we are working with any form inside Laravel but let's say inside this single Blade template file we have 20 of like forms so it means inside those 20 requests every time we need to include a token value so is there any method so that by declaring this token only a single time we can access inside each of the request so how is it possible simply we need, we need to use ajax setup so if we go inside this blog article level 8 and simply search here let's say ajax request in level pressing enter scroll down here we have the article called level 8 ajax request so simply if i press enter go here and inside this bleed template file as you can see we have a form inside this form we are not using any CSRF token instead at the header we have declared a meta tag and inside this we have used CSRF token and also if we go inside this script code so here we have written a code something called Ajax setup inside this Ajax setup we are passing our token inside these headers so once we done this setup every time in each ajax request automatically this token value will be processed we don't need to actually include every time token value inside each of the request like what we did inside this case inside this case we have a single ajax, re ajax request so it's okay where we are passing the token value inside this click event listener but when suppose a case we have 20 forms inside this single layout file so in that case we need to create a global ajax setup so that when we do any ajax request inside that layout file automatically this token value will be included inside that process so i hope guys this is the step by step tutorial for saving our data as well as from the last video we have done ajax validation and ajax form save data so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day